Blocking is your most basic defensive technique. Significantly reducing the damage you take from the opponent's attacks. Of course. And, um... Mid attacks are the most common type of attack. Targeting a character's midsection. Mid attacks can be blocked while standing or ducking. So it's just regular block. Right? That's it. Easy. I'm trying to see if I could do a flawless. There we go. Flawless block. It's almost like the parry technique. Or the perfect parry in uh, Street Fighter. Get a little antsy, right? Get a little antsy. Flawless block. Two of them. Damn, that's just quick. All right, so we're getting them. Just not with the consistency and frequency I want, but we're getting them. All right, so low attacks target the feet or lower body. Hidden standing characters that are blocking. You can only block a low attack if you're ducking. Oh, sorry. Trying to get that flawless low block. Like, I don't want to cheese and just hold down, but I'm not getting it. Got it. As long as I get, I can move on. As long as I can get one at least, I'll move on. Alright, so high attacks. Target the head or the upper body. This is weird. Well, so it's basically like, I guess, cross-ups, right? Like, trying to defend cross-ups. While high attacks can be blocked when standing or ducking, they can be evaded entirely by ducking without blocking. Alright, let's see what the hell they're talking about. Alright, got it. Just... All right, so overhead attack. Strike downward from above to hit duck and character. All right, these are the overheads. Right, so if you're blocking low, you're going to get hit with that overhead. You can only block an overhead attack if you are standing. Correct the mundo. The jumping are so much easier than that overhead. That overhead is ridiculous. To like time the um I still can't get the fucking flawless block. There it is. Ooh, got him on two. Ah, alright. Got flawless blocks on two. Alright, your opponents will attempt to mix low attacks and overhead attacks to get past your defense. The mix-ups. Oh, nice. Good shit. I didn't block that. Back up. You're too close. 
Oh, you could... Nice. I, I gotta play defense, not... Not offense. Oh, you had me. You fucking... Back up. <laughs> He's smart. You smart. All right, so generating that fireball definitely is a... Uh, it's not instant. Oh, so you could do Ice Clone right off that um normal. Does that temporarily freeze them? That normal? No. Only when you add it with that, it freezes them. Alright, so so far the combo potential in this game is ridiculous. Like, just with Sub-Zero alone. Oh, you could do it twice? That seems kind of OD. Alright, let's move on. I'll just keep on playing this fucking mode the whole night. Alright, so if your opponent is blocking your attacks while standing, hit them with a low attack. Right? Kind of easy enough. Give me one second, guys.
Alright, we're back. Let me turn this down a little bit. Fucking Sub Zero is sick. Sub Zero is absolutely nuts. Just the combo potential and like how all his special moves flow together. Really cool stuff. And fucking Johnny Cage. Poor guy showing it. He's definitely showing it in his face. So, like, we could do the... We could do that. Hold on, what was it? It was, um... And then into slide, right? So, and the, the cool thing is, this is actually an overhead. I didn't come out. All right, let's keep it moving, man. Special moves and combo attacks. Task 4 out of 7. Pressing the right combination of attack buttons in quick succession will unleash a combo attack. In this section, a circle timer shows the time remaining to press each button in the combo attack sequence. All righty. All right, so we got triangles. Oh, that's quick. So that's basically front, back, well, back, front, back, right? 
So can we just do... Right, that's what we've been kind of doing, right? So that um that that's beautiful because that's a that's a beautiful starter for everything. But that ends it. That that last triangle. So we could do the back front and then that just opens up the floodgates. Alright, let's move it on. So we got... Front punch, back punch, back punch. So what about front back punch? Does that Oh that's still that's still a good starter, right? That's a nice one. Alright, so that's actually a sick attack. But you kind of gotta... You have to have Kano out right when you're about to slide kick him. So that he can come out and do his spinning ball. Or else he'll come out and do a laser. What about if you do that? What does Kano do with that? I love when he brings that staff out and just does that sliding, sliding stab. Oh, so he doesn't really come out with a special move. Oh no, he does. Just gotta time it right. Alright, so that is the front back punch. Well, front, back, back punch, right? Simple, uh, simple combo. Nothing crazy. Alright, let's keep it moving to the next one. Next combo. Got back. So we're holding back. Um, with front kick, and then we do the, uh, back kick. Alright, 
Alright, so now you got forward front punch, back punch, front kick. All right, 250. We're building up that coinage. Building up the bank. So your cameo partner can enter the fight to support your lead character or attack the opponent. All right, so if we just do the regular... If he just comes in, he'll do his... He actually fucking, like, grabs us by the back of the head and brings us down so that he could, like... Not hit us with it. That's fucking wild. Alright. Cameo attacks are limited by a cameo gauge gauge located under your health bar. Your cameo gauge will recharge automatically over time. So I guess that's that circle meter um right around Kano's beautiful icon and face. Um right at, right underneath the uh health bar. So right now he's at full. So he could do so back. He does the oh so that that sh uses up half of the meter. Oh so if you do different direction he does different moves. So like forward R1 he does the uh, spin attack. Back R1, he does the blades. And then just hitting R1 does that laser. Okay. What about... Alright, so it's really three cameo attacks. Got it. Three or four. Each cameo partner has unique abilities. And attacks to make your lead character more dangerous in combat. Experiment with the different teams to find a deadly combination. Of course, they're going to involve the whole synergy. And what two are the most effective and complement each other with maybe damaging combos, right? Or just different things, I guess. The bull. The Kano Bowl. Use what you learn to defeat your opponent. Alright. Hit him. Let's go. Hey, that was cheap. I went to go get a drink. Alrighty. 250. Off the bat. I felt like we just got 250. That was a quick one. Alright, so your super meter is located in the bottom left of the screen. If you are player 1, fill your super meter by causing damage, receiving damage, or performing special moves. Oh, do they have... I know in Mortal Kombat 11 they had enhanced moves, where, which were kind of like EX. I wonder if they have that in this game. Or if they kind of just, like, left that alone. Alright, so attack the opponent repeatedly to build one bar. So we got that bar. So now... Oh, it's just the same thing. Okay, so there we go. That we were just talking about it, and bam, they hit us right in the face. You can enhance some special moves by pressing R2 at the same time as the attack button. Most enhance attack moves cost one bar, or one third of your total super meter. Got gotcha. you. Kind of had a, kind of had a feeling that we we're gonna do one of those.
All right, so we're going to have to kind of like switch something up because my R2 is not where it's supposed to be. Let's remap some of these. All right, so everything's good here. Maybe. Maybe we could do that. Flip stance. 